Stuff comes down, ruins $10,000 worth of clothes. Mm -hmm. Fine. Yes, you put in the insurance claim. That takes literally forever to get paid back. Yeah, it does. So what? So the check, so then you got the check? Is that what you're saying? Well, it was coming in the mail. The lawyer said, I have the check, and, but you have to put it through your business account. I can't. And right. we still had the business account open even though we'd it's split It's made up. out it to was, envy. Yeah, it came check. in January, mid-January after we'd already split up in the first uh, December. You know, and in December we split. Split it up. So the ten thousand it made yeah. up to envy from the insurance yeah, company or so, whatever. So comes the, our in. lawyer has the check and he says he sends it to us and so we were gonna we tried to cash and he said no, they go oh no you have to put it through the business account. So we said okay it's still open at this point we're gonna put it through the business account and we're gonna take the money. So you deposit it into the account. Yep, yeah, and we're gonna give you twenty percent. Right. So we you own twenty percent. Right. Whatever. We're being fair. We're gonna put ten thousand. So, we're gonna give two thousand right, to correct. Melissa. So my husband puts it in there. The lawyer did and it's gone. Gone. She took it all. Really? So, like, the 10000 yes. is deposited, and, and it's then gone. And it's I were gone waiting for it. Like five lawyer minutes, knows. Yeah, three seconds. I was supposed to come right back out, and to us, it's, I don't know how that happened. I still do not know how it happened. It burns me. Because we were nice enough to offer, even after the store is settled and done, to give her 20% of it, and they took it. So she took the whole yeah. check, $10,000. Yep. And that's when I just said to myself, of all the time, I knew it was the right thing to do to get out of that business because that's just no good. That's just no good. Right. Well, that's if you're only no a twenty percent owner and you take the whole thing, you technically could say you stole eight thousand dollars. She did steal it. She did. That it's thief. That's being a thief. And she calls me a thief. Uh -huh. I don't think so. See, you're just way too nice. I am too nice because everyone that says wouldn't, that. I wouldn't. Everyone end says it that. There. What am I going to do for ten thousand dollars? Throw her in jail? For what? She's got three kids. You know, really. I mean, it's just she. I don't even I don't know, know how you it's, take a check right back out either. But apparently, but Melissa you, you, Gorga you could does. take it in there and deposit it right into the account, or you can take it. Well, we weren't there, so our lawyer had it, and I guess he just put it in, and it went right to her. I'm not sure how that happened, but they said, "Oh, we deposited the check today." My husband said, and she got it. And I was like, "How does that happen?" Wow. We weren't up here, so I don't can't tell you how that happened. That's shocking. Yeah, really shocking. That's it takes a lot to shock me, and that's a, that's a that's a <laughs> that was my biggest one. shocking. That was my biggest thing, that really just did me in that one. I was just like, wow, man, all the stuff I did for you, you got to steal from me, you know, really. So that's kind of like the end. So that happens between season seven and eight. Yep. So then you find out. Now we'll get into how you sued. So uh -huh. like you find out. What? Like, did you know? Because this, you know, we flash forward to season eight, Real Housewives of New Jersey. The opening scene is this flashback, right? You never appear, but this flashback where, you know, Melissa puts it out there that, you know, my business partner, Jackie, stole all the clothes in the middle of the night. She took them out. So how did you – you 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 learn that they were going to do that or you had the idea? Because that's when you – then you – Go on and you send this letter. If you defame me, I'm going to sue all of you. We sent that in January, right after we kind of split up the thing. My husband had said that. He goes, Jack, he goes, you have two businesses or one still a business. Is We need to write them a letter, a certified letter, that if they defame you on that television show, you're going to need to sue them for defamation because it's going to ruin you. And he was, you know, so, but right before that that happened, that they showed the show, we'd closed our store down there because they were going to raise my rent down there. And so I was going to either relocate it or, you know, whatever. I decided not to because of the fact that she did that to me on television. I was like, you know, after that, I was like, no way. I'm not going to do anything with the store. I'm just going to nurture it. But yeah, because when she said that, you know you're not going to recover from that. She's going to tell her side of the story, and I'm never going to tell my side of the story. And I'm always going to be like, people are going to go, this lady could be a thief, you know. She she was kind of on the housewives, and she's a little shady, you know. Right. They don't, nobody knows me. They know her. So I felt like, you know, I was going to get the shaft, basically, if I, you know. That's so, how it works on these shows. It does. One person sure does. on the show with a yep. one plus whatever million audience yeah where people listen to every word and then the other person they're just like we're done with yeah. you next yeah. well, next yeah so you got so did you know like you were you your husband had enough sense to say let's write this letter he thought of that i wouldn't have, i probably would have just been like whatever you know i don't know i don't know i would i wouldn't i was i thought of it before because i did say i hope she doesn't go on and say you know ruin my business down here but so you write that letter. We wrote that letter in January. And at and the same time. they called me in February to come be on the show. I wrote that letter in January. So they all got it. Andy Cohen, all of NBC got it. The saying, big... if you defame me, I'll sue yeah. you. Yeah. Then they say what? Um, by the way, we, we want, we, 
Let's not even mention the letter. Can you come to New Jersey? Yeah, yeah. One you of get to New Jersey. Yeah. And they say, here's a new contract. Sign this. And you have a scene with well, the Well, yeah. Well, we, we started filming actually before that. So then like after we started for about an hour, they go, oh, here's your contract. You got to just get to sign these contracts. And I look at it. I'm thinking, oh, this is a little bit longer. But I kind of glanced at it. And I said, well, I signed the last one. You know what? Same and thing. And I already said, we already, you know, and I, I was with on the phone with my lawyer. I go, I don't know. This contract is different. Do you want to read it? Whatever. And he goes, it's probably the same. There was still the mandatory arbitration clauses, but this one had a lot more to it. Like, they could do whatever they wanted, say whatever they wanted. And I signed it. So what are you going to do? But, you know. So you signed it. What were you filming with Dolores that they never used? My side of the story. Oh. Yeah. So I didn't, so I they, didn't really feel that they weren't going to use that, you know. I wasn't on the show. I wasn't her partner, so I wasn't going to be on the show. So I don't know why they even really called me to come back there. That's what's weird about the whole thing. It's a listen. It's a little weird because they it's very you send weird. this letter saying if you defame me, work, I'm going to sue you. Yes. Then you get a call to come up, and they say, I was like, "What the heck?" Tell your side of the story, which I don't know who would say no to that, right? Like, who I wanted to want tell it? my side. We actually sure. sent them a letter, and it's in the book. About we wanted we wanted a public apology for that statement, and they wouldn't do it. See, I think it's all like they get that letter. They're like, okay, she's going to sue us. Well, we want it. I mean, we have to wrap nobody, this though. up. So then they fly you. They, you fly yourself mm. here. You film for an hour. <laughs> they give you another here. contract <laughs> to sign, which is harsher. That says everything's going to go to arbitration. And then, right, the whole thing you're filming is your side of the story, which I don't know who would say no to that because you want to tell your side I of the story. I wanted to tell my now, side of the story. Now, you and Dolores was involved. Like well, Dolores was, is my friend for a long time. I've known her for a long time. So, so she filmed this scene with you. Yeah, we were in the city. We filmed it in here in New York. And it was an all-day kind of thing. And just you telling what happened. Yeah, and they kept wanting her to say stuff. And she's like, I'm not going to say that. Dolores, you know, doesn't get involved in that. She will not do it. And I don't want to do it either. I just wanted to say what I had to say. I don't want to get in trouble. What did they want Dolores to say? I that cannot she remember say? what it was, but it was something that wasn't good. Like and she against wasn't, Melissa. Yeah, yeah, I and it wasn't. She wasn't going to do it. She didn't want to get involved in it. Dolores is good like that. I she's think if very she good doesn't like want to do it, she's she like, won't oh, do it. So good for her. I know. Right? I like Dolores a lot. So then, you when you were filming this, because some people would say this is like the best day of my life. Like I'm Ugh. telling my side of the story. You what you felt. In your I knew heart something hearts, was going to go did. bad down with this. I just did. I said, why are they calling me? Why would they call me? I'm not going to be on the show anymore. So it's like, they're not going to make money off of me. They're not going to ask me to be a housewife. I don't want to be a housewife. I wouldn't have been a housewife, you know. I, I, and, you know, we don't have the business together anymore. And everyone didn't understand why that. So that's what made me crazy about this whole thing. Made me think, okay. But, you know, let's face it. I'm a nobody. Why would NBC be worried about me? You know, really? They get sued every day for probably millions more than I ask for, you know? I well, don't I don't know. Can you tell me? I, so you, you know just, more about this so than you I do. Just when you were filming, when you were filming, you just something in your gut I said, said they're I not it. using this. Uh, yeah, my mom had said the same thing. She goes, "I don't think you should go. I don't think you should do it." Well, they say always <laughs> listen to your mother. I mean, if you she didn't did go, look, we can all look back with hindsight and say we should have done different things in our life. But <laughs> yeah. if you didn't go, you wouldn't have signed the new contract. Right. Right? But I understand the appeal to go because you want to tell your side of the story. At that time, I was still fresh and raw. I just, you know, and I didn't, then afterwards, I don't look like sour grapes and say, oh, you know, this, this, and this thing. So I just shut up and just let it go for a while. And then after I see all this going on with them and people trying to decide, oh, they really lie about stuff. I just want to tell my side of the story. Look, they did it to me. I don't know how they do it to you, but this is what happened with me. Not comparing, just saying this is the way it was. So, right, and you, I'm shocked that you, because I, 